good morning everyone you're yeah, very good morning shall we begin the session today's topic is session number 12 that is reusing the code so the main aim is to make development extensive expensive and application to perform more efficiently so this aim is obtained by spending more and more resources more and more time on the new task that is considered to be more repetitive yes right so uh, next session is session number 12 that is reusing the code so how we are using the code or how we can reuse the code the main aim is to make the main aim is to make development less to work extensive an application to perform more efficiently so what's over the data that is available what's over the mean that is used the topic of uh, and this this session is reusing the code the main aim is to provide the main aim is to guess which part is used which part is available more fruitful than any other part that is used to make the development less work extensive and application is to perform more efficiently so more applications more 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 performs that will be available that will be used as extensive work that is available or that is used by spending more and more resources and time on the new task that is considered that is considered to be very repetitive and to organize the material that results to organize the result in such a way that they can easily be used when needed for development of the new applications so there are other important issues that are also associated with this objective which we cannot discuss in this course among which are the scaling and the load balancing now come to the main topic that is how to reuse the code or that is a reuse in the code so we are using the cold fusion approaches so when the programmed computers emerged in the 1940s it was soon recognized that a large proportion of the development time was in fact used for reinventing and recoding the programs already prepared so what's over the program what's over the code we are using now that is already prepared but unfortunately not always taken well care of and made available or disturbed Are distributed, so programs and the routine libraries therefore becomes established and systemized, published and distributed. And about 20 years later, the object to object takes off, took off basically, not the takes off, and the class libraries were discussed. Class library was developed, were developed and assembled with extended possibilities for reuse. So this reuse or the reinventing, recording the programs already been prepared has been used, has been well of, made available or distributed. So this library been established, been systemized, been published and been distributed. So these, these object oriented programming took off and class library was developed and assembled with extended possibilities for reuse. Next is the Cold Fusion MX that includes a battery of approaches for facilitating systematic reuse of the codes, including the CF include tags, including the custom tags, including the user defined functions, including the CFX tags using the components. So these components have also been part uh, are likely to be used in the CFI include. The tags is also available in the above and probably. And probably it will be saved for some repetitive task. Uh, by means of this tag, we can also include such a template with the sequence of the tags that frequently used in other templates also. And when drawback is act, you have to keep the tracks of the address at which the tags is to be included that is located out. So in this session, we discuss the custom tags and the user defined functions that is used in the RBB about the CFX tags. So there are two parts in this. One is the components, one is the web services that is also used in the sessions. So one is the custom tags. So this cold fusion includes almost 100 tags, and this cold fusion also includes the features that is the custom tag and CF tags. Which permits the user to define own tags, operations, or the feature that is actually used. 
These tags are easy to use. Save the developer for rewriting the code for the specific operation. Format the definition of the attributes. It can be stored in a standard li directories, libraries, and decrease the possibility for creating the bugs in the tedious rewriting of the code. Tedious rewriting of the code means tedious uh, generation of the code that will be used. that is available within the possibility for creating the bugs, creating the rewriting of the code. So this example or application example includes a tailor-made logging of the application use. And when we evaluate the web application that also requires observations and the data. And one type of data is to log data reflecting the user's movement from one template to another during a visit to the website and possibly for a sequence of the visits. So log data can identify the templates frequently visited by the users, users path to the application and the time spent by the users at each template or the sequence of the template. The purpose is usually to provide the knowledge to the developers for improving the applications or for getting the application. Now let, let us consider the following scenario. So imagine that the milestone that is that can be identified in an application. So e, e, at each milestone, a log recording can be embedded. So there is a recorded passing of the each milestone that will be data of the data required type required. So what should be the what should be the data type that is required that is the milestone used? So there are at least four useful facts for any log records. ID for the user. Timestamp for passing the milestone, name of the current milestone passed, and the name of the previous milestone. So these are the these are the current scenarios that will be used as a milestone as a data. Next tag, that is the CF tag, which takes care of recording of these facts uh, for facts that can be defined by the following templates. Log milestone.cfm, milestone.cfm, that is a CF set. Timestamp is now, we are using the now function. CF set ID is a session.pin. CF set's current milestone is the CGI.script name. CF if not is defined, session.previous milestone. Then CF set session dot previous milestone is the double quotes plan. Then the CF if will be closed. Then CF set milestone record. We are recording the ID. We are recording the timestamp. We are recording the current milestone, session milestone, or previous milestone. Then CF set set is included in the session dot previous milestone. That is again the current milestone equals to now. If file does not exist, so log records dot HTML. So this, this CF file action is also given as a write. File is given as a session dot path. Log records dot CFM. Output is given as a H3. Then font color is given as a blue. Milestone records. Then font will be closed. H3 will be closed. Then the CF if will be closed over here. So CFI action that is append. File is a session path log records dot htm. Output is a milestone record p that is the add new line in CS. Note that the above listing shows that this template is not different from a regular template. So these lines are generating with the variables that is for the log record. Value that is the session dot pin is also assumed set when the users enter the application. And the fourth variable, that is the previous milestone, that must exist if the recording is the first milestone of the current session. This milestone also defines with the session dot previous milestone that is to be blank. So 
so, so that is the print that is that is the um, we can say the argument list that is used with the regular tab. these generated templates will be used this will be used for the assume to be set as I entered the application so fourth variable is the previous milestone that does not exist if the recording is the of the current session so when we use the listing that is different from the current milestone so this is the current milestone session milestone previous milestone session dot previous milestone that is the current milestone so this action is also right file is a session dot path log records dot htm output is h3 font color is blue milestone records that will be written as a milestone record and the phone will be closed h3 will be closed after this that the cff that will be closed over here then cf file action append file is a session path dot log records dot htm output is a milestone add new line that is a yes i note that the above listing shows that this template is not different from a regular template that is used for generating three of the four variables that wanted for the log recording and this is also assumed, this is also a uh, main that show that these assumed target will be used as a set when the users enter the application. So what's about the fourth application that is used that does not exist, that does not use for the milestone of the current session. So these milestones have a defined with a session dot previous to milestone to be black. So line line eight also composed with the list that is known as the milestone record. So these lines uh, test the existence of the file if these files exist or not. So we are, we are using the log records dot cfm that does not exist. This is the first recording. This is the first file uh, that will be recorded done. So does this template establishes the file or not? So according to this line thirteen appoints the list milestone record as a record to the file log records dot cfm. So this custom tag template can be saved in different places. So recommended rule is to save is to pre-installed directory known as the custom tags in a special directory. So this custom tags within the general CFMX directory that will be used as an ISP, Internet Service Provider hole that does not permit its customers access to this directory. So the easiest way is to then to copy the tag template to the directory in which it is used and this tag template can be called from any of the template by the tag cf log milestone the cf log milestone have a number of the property possible uses as well as the restrictions only the most elementary expects for discuss is to study the chapter that is used to uh, for, for the gaining the we can say the for, for the establishment that will be available within the file that will be available within the data so what's about the file, what's about the data that is used, that is used as a part of the CF milestone. And custom tags have a number of the property, possible uses, as well as the restrictions. So these, these uh, elementary scripts are also discussed, also used as a RDB. So we use the guest example from the session to illustrate the application of the CF log milestone tag that display the problem, that display the response from the system that are the two interesting milestones in this application. So instead of using the previous example, we are using the present example that is the index.cfm template of the session 2 that is again renamed as the index.cfm after the CF log milestone tag is included at the top of the template. So this is the index.cfm, CS6, session.pin, pin is given as a four digit number. And CF log milestone, CF set, temp is a randomized, second now, CF set, session is a target, random range, 50, H2, font color is red, guess form, H2, form, action is the response.cfm. Then CF output, P, my name is, input type, text, name is this, P, I guess the sum of the all the integers from B, to the session this one leaves the input text that will be the guess your yeah, output will be closed input type is submit value is submit then the form will be closed
So these lines will be used as a session word pin that is given the response to CFM template. Now the last part over here is the response to sorry index word CFM that have a load file that have a CF set session pin that contains the four digits and the load milestone that contains the randomized function. Second, now so session dot target random range 50 hundred. One color is given as a red. Guess one will be closed. S2 will be closed. And the action is given as a response and must force to CFM. So whatsoever the data, whatsoever the file we are taking up, that will be available with the form. Then the CF output. Output contains the B paragraph tag. My name is. Then there is a text field that, that have a name. Have a name, name. So P paragraph, I guess the sum everything that is printed out. Then um, see how it will be closed. We are creating the new button in the next P paragraph and the form will be closed. These are assigned some values for the session dot pin. This is the record dot correspond dot CFM. CF life log milestone, CF set sum is zero. And CF loop index is the count from one to the session target. So what's over the session target? What's over the file that is acquired that is used at the mm, at, from that starts from the one to the session target. In CF set, session sum is the sum plus count. Looping will be closed. If will be open now. If the sum is equal to the guess. So whatever the sum, whatever the output of tradition that is equal to the guess, what we guess. CF output H3 will be the font color blue name your guess was correct and the font will be closed CF output will be closed and the CF index so that contains the H3 with the font color red whatever the message for example this P1 sorry the sum is this and the font is this and the CF output will be closed CF if will be closed to make the example incomplete a menu is needed on that is used to the index or CFF So these contains, or this contains two parts basically. One is the response for CFM, one is the index for CFM. Yes, right. Next, next part is response for CFM that contains the CF set. Sum is one, uh, sum is zero, that initialize with the zero. Loop starts with the index, index is the value found. Then it goes from the one to the session dot target. Session dot target contains um, the maximum limit we can say the loop where it terminates. Then see if set sum is given as a sum plus count. Looping will be closed. CFF sum is equal to the guess. Then see if output H3 with the font color blue. Name your guess was correct. Font will be closed. H3 will be closed. Then CF else. That also have a name, your guess was correct, and have a phone color. Output H3, phone color is red. Your name is not mentioned in the phone, phone, phone tab. Output or CF output tax will be closed, and the CF will be closed. Why CF? Because we have opened the CF and we have to close the CF. Over here. That contains the response to CFM, that contains the sum B. Then CF output will be closed to one here with the CF. This contains two parts. This contains the addition that will be also satisfied. That contains the value that also used whenever it is occupied, whenever it is used in the in the phone color, in the font size. CF output, CF. H3 phone color is given as a red. So that's all for today's session. And if there is any clarification, any doubts, you can ask the doubts. In the next class, we will move to the next part.